Hi guys, it's Amy from thecrazycraftlady.com. It has been a while since I have made a YouTube video. This kind of feels weird. Um, we're going to talk about doing image transfers on wood today. So I was in Home Depot months ago. Okay, I made this impulse. I made an impulse purchase months ago. Rust-Oleum photo transfer. Okay, and I finally got around to testing it out. So I have used Mod Podge to transfer regular old, nothing special about it, Mod Podge to transfer images onto wood. Then I saw this and I was like, ooh, this could be really fun or it could be a gimmick and a big old waste of money. It says that you can use it on wood, metal, canvas, fabric, and more. It's in a bottle. It's just like this white liquid. I don't know. So, I mean, it looks in consistency very similar to Mod Podge. So I'm going to test it out because if you have this in your craft stash already for other projects, you don't really need this. But if this works better, we'll see. And then just for fun as a control, I don't know. I, I don't know if I should say this. Sometimes I think Mod Podge, it's like, isn't it just glorified glue, right? So as, since I'm testing, I'm going to use regular Crayola school glue as well. So I'm going to test these three on wood with two different types of images and I'm going to show you the results. Start with your image transfer medium. Here I'm testing Mod Podge, Elmer's Glue, and Rust-Oleum Photo Transfer. Then select your photo. Here I'm using two different photos to show you how the different colors transfer over. A couple of things to keep in mind when printing your photo. First, white space and images will appear clear when transferred, so choose your image carefully. Second, print your image on a laser printer and not on an inkjet printer. The printer you have at home is likely an inkjet printer. I usually load my image onto a flash drive and take it to my local printer, think FedEx, Kinko's, or Office Max, to print in color. Or else, if you already have a hard copy of the picture, you can just make a color photocopy at a copy shop. Third, use regular weight printer paper and not photo paper or heavy cardstock. And finally, you can flip your image horizontally if you like before printing. You can use a photo editing program like PicMonkey, since your image will be reversed when it's transferred over. So just print your photo and then trim it down to size. Paint a layer of your image transfer medium onto your smooth wood surface. Here I'm just using scrap plywood, but you can use a wood round, wood blocks, or even a larger piece of plywood. You don't need to brush on too much, just enough to get the paper to adhere. Here from left to right I'm using Mod Podge, Elmer's Glue, and Rust-Oleum Photo Transfer. Lay the image printed side down flat on the surface. Smooth flat the image and then let dry. Wait a day before proceeding to the next step. I usually just let mine sit overnight. Using a scrub rag and a bowl of warm water, soak the paper. Since the Rust-Oleum directions said to use soapy water, I added just a couple drops of Mrs. Meyer's dish soap. Then gently begin to scrub away the paper. As the paper begins to peel away, set aside the scrub rag. You don't want to add any more water at this point. You just use the friction of your fingers to remove all of the paper, leaving the image behind. Be careful, if you don't rub enough, you will leave paper behind. If you rub too much or too hard, you will remove part of the image. It's a bit of a balancing act and it takes a bit of time if you are transferring several photos or working on a larger project. Here's a close-up of the final result. As you can see, the colors are a bit muted and that white sky above the yellow flowers has completely disappeared. 
Images with darker colors work better on this kind of project. Once your wood surface is totally dry, you can seal with a layer of Mod Podge or other clear coat if you'd like. Okay, you guys, here are my results as a reference. Here's the image, and here are my three results. Okay, the Elmer's glue here in the middle was an epic failure, probably because this is washable glue. I didn't really think that through before I tried this. So, but now we know there's a reason why we have Mod Podge and glue in our craft stashes. They serve different purposes. Okay, this on... This side is the Mod Podge, and this is the Rust-Oleum. Let me give you a close-up. You can see we lost some color there as I was rubbing away the paper. Sometimes if you're not careful, you lose part of the picture, but that also happened on a tiny spot here. So, pretty similar results. Rust-Oleum, maybe just a tad bit better. I didn't lose as much ink. And then I just, I did a second image because I wanted to show, this one didn't have as much white space. Like, with different types of colors, how they transfer. Once again, we're just gonna ignore the middle piece because it was such a failure. Over here, I have Mod Podge. I lost some ink over here, but then I also lost a significant amount with the Rust-Oleum down here. There's some gaps and there's a big old gap there. So here's my official verdict. If you are doing a small image transfer project, like a four by six um, or a five by seven, I, and you have Mod Podge in your craft stash and you will use it for other things, I would stick with the Mod Podge. However, if you're doing a bigger project or you wanna do several of these, I would do the Rust-Oleum. One, because I feel like the transfer results are just a tiny bit better, but mainly because as I was rubbing away on the wood surface, like rubbing away the paper with this Rust-Oleum product, it came off faster. The paper came off faster. And as you're rubbing, like your fing my fingers, after I did all six of these guys, my finger started to get a little bit raw. So I switched over, I'm right-handed, I switched over to my left hand. So if I was doing a bigger project or multiple projects, it would be worth it to buy this just to save um, your fingers and to save some time. Um, that's, that's my verdict. So if you're doing just one small project or you want to test it out, do the Mod Podge. If you're doing something bigger, do the Rust-Oleum. But I used, you guys, you can't even see how much I used up of this product. So this bottle would, you could make a hundred of these probably, right? So I think my next project is going to be, so stay tuned, I'm going to try to do this with a much, much bigger image on a larger piece of wood to kind of use up some of this. So that's my verdict, Rust-Oleum versus Mod Podge. No clear winner, but still great options if you wanna transfer an image onto wood. That's it. Until next time, happy making. Bye guys.